Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 14 of Last FIFA 15 and as you can see here we sold on a few of the players we got in the free pack of the last episode and apart from that I decided to relist my other items and head on into my first Division 5 game. We did promote for that in the last episode and I was looking to get a bit of a good start to the division, maybe get uh, some early good points and uh, be able to play a little bit more relaxing when we got later into the division. So we come up against a 4-2-3-1 squad there, mainly Bundesliga and a few uh, PSG players as well in Cavani and Lavezzi. And he got a corner and straight from that I was able to pick it up, go on the counter attack, get a little bit lucky and Giovanni Dos Santos makes it 1-0. But apart from that it was a game where there wasn't really that many chances in my opinion opinion um we both had formations with two center defensive mids and it's generally difficult to break each other down that way as you can see here i had five shots three in target he had only had a one so it wasn't surprising that my next chance would come from a free kick because i'm starting to to learn how to take free kick and be i've been able to score most of them lately and here we're able to get a goal with serrata to make it 2-0 and that was nice to get that two goal lead because i had a feeling this was a game that could go both ways he could get the equalizer or i could get the 2-0 goal and luckily I did get that goal from the free kick looked quite nice and Tirad is scoring his second free kick goal for the club and it was good I got that goal because he was able to sneak a goal in at the near post in the 82nd minute put some pressure on me because then he was just one goal away from getting the draw in this game and from the last episode I had enough of draws and I really wanted to win this game and in the end I was able to get away with it and I think it was fair enough I had a few more chances than him so uh, yeah, I think it was fair enough, I got away with the win there, I won the game 2-1 to one to get my first 3 points from my first game in the division. So the perfect start, a 2 division 5 there, and after that, I decided to switch squad to Rapti was injured, so we went with our other full triple 2 squad, which I do think in the next episode will change up, try out something different maybe, uh, just to, to try out some other players. But uh, yeah, into the next game, we're up against an Italian side, which also had Bia Biani into the side, and Churchy. Scoring a beautiful goal there, bringing us up 1-0. And Costa would get on the ball as well here in the 45th minute, trying to break on through. But we could not score. And we tried a shot there as well, but it was saved by the key. By half time, I kept my opponent away from uh, that many chances. But at the same time, I didn't create too much either. Tried a shot there. Didn't really come to anything and instead a through ball and uh, I tried to clear it away but couldn't get onto the ball and I should just have backed off and played it safe because I rushed a little bit too much trying to get the ball and that was just stupid because he made a 1-1 on one of his only chances in the game. I broke through with Rodrigo here. But I couldn't get the shot in at the near post, unfortunately. Another chance, Rodrigo on the ball here, breaking on through into the box. But too much pressure, he gets the tackle in and I pick it up with Costa out to Churchy. Goes past the defender here into the box, past another one, but couldn't get it past the keeper. 87th minute, I am able to pan at the defender, break on through here, but De Ciclo is able to catch up and he does the right thing. In the 88th, 89th minute, that was probably the right thing to do. Clip my play and make sure I didn't get that goal. And yeah, it'll cost him uh, a red card, but it's the 19th minute at this point in time. And uh, yeah, I would have to score from this free kick if I wanted to get a goal. And Costa, he steps up for that and he sends it at the near uh, post in into the top corner but Buffon was there to save it and from the corner Buffon will save it as well so it ends at a one-to-one -one, a game where I felt I maybe should have won it but it tipped over to a draw in the end when you look at the full-time stats I had a quite a few more chances than him but unfortunately I could not get that 2-1 goal so we're sitting on four points after two games which still it's quite all right. We only dropped two points in some way, and uh, for the title, you need 19 points. So we can afford to drop 11, and we dropped two so far. So it's still looking all right, in my opinion. So for the next game, we're up against a very powerful Premier League squad, and this was pretty tough to play against. As you can see at half time, not too much stuff happening. Once again, I'm able to keep my opponent away from most of the chances. But again, a random through ball and I couldn't stop it and it's uh, it's 1-0 and I didn't like that because I didn't create too much against my opponent either. 
So for this might end up being a loss, but straight from the kickoff, I'm able to break on through here with Costa, go past the keeper and the defender. I don't know what Czech was doing there, and we are uh, we get the equalizer one to one, and we get another chance with Rodrigo, able to push the defender off the ball, but couldn't get a goal. However, we get a corner. We're able to head it in and make it a 2-1 and I was looking to get one more goal in this game just to close it off and we find Rodrigo here in the 86th minute breaking on through trying out the shot but Czech would save it and instead 89th, 90th minute he, he was probably playing all out attack or something because he had so many players on this counter attack and he finds an open Schürrle to score a 90th minute equalizer 2-2 it was. Oh, dropping yet two more points at this stage. I was a little bit annoyed because it was a game with very few chances and slipping up that goal in the 19th minute was not very fun. So two draws in a row. We dropped some more points in the division and I thought you know, we'll play one more game and hopefully we can get a win just to make it look all right. Like if I lost this, a gun would get a draw in this game. It would not look very good. So we're up against the Bundesliga side and we played seven minutes. Skivanta Santos on the board. Trying to get it over the line, but it's cleared away on the goal line and remains at nil to nil. But then Serrata on the ball here using the very basic skill moves. And to be fair, I noticed some people asking why do I not use um, some of the more advanced skill moves and go for awesome skill goals and stuff like that. And that's because I kind of want to win these division games and win division one. That would be my first objective in some way and going with the kind of show off skill moves will not win you as many games as it will when you use the effective skill moves so that is kind of the reason why I'm playing the way I play uh, because I, I would like to win the divisions and I'm still not good enough to rely on show off skill moves and win games on a consistent basis I feel like if I use the effective skill moves I play quite all right but uh, if I start trying to go for the incredible goals, I might slip up some stupid points. And uh, I, I feel more com confident playing this way. And then when I get a proper lead, I'll try for the more awesome goals. And here we score a quite nice little goal to make it 3-1 end off the game. And that is also going to be where we end off this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. We are sitting on um, on eight points after four games in the division. So it's all right. It looks like we might be able to get the promotion and hopefully also the title. And that is pretty much all. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you later.